Thank you for staying with us and a warm welcome to those who've just joined us. Now, law enforcement agencies are continuing their frantic search for the fugitive dubbed the Facebook rapist. Senior reporter Slinda Lomasegane has spoken to Tabo Besta's mother. It is her DNA which confirmed that the body that burnt at the Mangaum prison was not his. She joins us now for more in studio after her chat with the mother. Uh, Sleep. What did the mother say to you? Is she is she uh, okay in terms of where her son is? Did she always know that he was always alive? Mm. I mean, of course, I think the news, when speaking to her, the news of uh, the passing of Bester, uh, of course, shocked her as a mother. Uh, she was obviously quite upset. She said that, in fact, she was looking forward um, to having Bester actually rehabilitated um, in prison and, and coming back, you know, a changed man, essentially. Um, but she was um, also insisting that, you know, she never raised Bester. He, uh, Bester was actually uh, raised by his grandmother, her mother, um, and uh, she essentially gave uh, Besta to her mother to take care of uh, from the age of one because she needed to work. Um, she says that she doesn't actually know at what point Besta left the care of his grandmother because at some point she fell sick um, and they took care of her until her passing, but they never saw Besta um, again. The, 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 uh, the next time they saw Bester, rather, was on t television as well as hearing on the radio that he had committed some heinous crimes, uh, killed some women, um, and he said, obviously, uh, this did not, um, this was not um, something they wanted to hear, but they were kind of confused at the fact that um, they hadn't heard from him or even seen him uh, since, essentially, he was a child. So at this point, uh, Bester's mom says that she's living in fear. She says that since the news broke that Bester escaped from prison, she's been receiving death threats. Uh, she says that she's constantly living in fear. She has so much anxiety. She doesn't know um, who she can trust. She doesn't know whose calls she can take. Um, and she says that at this point, she is quite worried not only for her safety, but the safety um, of her last born son, um, whom she resides with. Now, we also got to talking about um, how police managed to get her DNA, um, how she was informed of the passing. And, uh, you know, of course, we know she was the one who stopped uh, the cremation of the body that was supposed to be um, uh, Besta. And we know that she uh, made attempts to actually speak to Nandipa. Um, mm. And what she says to me is that Nandipa actually told her that her and Besta were married. Let's take a listen. Wow. <laughs> Meaning it why all the time bringing a felang and Kulumga. And then Vesu Tabogay Unandi Pavesa get Guiana Amphone, Nutipoisa Dum Trisa Dum Fun, Amphone, Amphone. I can give him my man Zosa upon Zok Chenna Lenda Macal, Uze I won. Wa figure one tell Woody, Bora Nutabo by Shat. Have I got to Shata, Baba Navandana by two, then in the Lavandana Lava Valley. Okay. And then you found out that she wants to cremate the body, but you were against that. No, I get young woman, oh, mama, now I get with whom Gutuntana cafe to Mutonga mass, but we as Gutuntana anyway appeal. We are one of into Icalela for Guti. Ungavo Maranja and Gutuntana, no more to top, no more wunya for a little stratin. You got Marafil Zoom top and a promise of Mosharia Kumfil. That is problem. And then in Naki Kore. Hakina anything to do with this? Untata waga fela niki pete la soto pusangwa na kajwa re na kijamele blow we kabaka la soto pusangwa na. So, Sli, Tabo Besta um, escaped from this prison on the second of May last year, right? It's almost been a year. Ha did she say he's ever made contact with her throughout this time? Not at all. She says she has not laid eyes on Bester since he was, um, you know, found in Cape Town, went through a trial and uh, subsequently convicted um, and sent to the prison in Bloemfontein. She says that, uh, in fact, um, she is quite hurt uh, by the fact that uh, she has not heard from her son. Um, and then finding out that he was alive and knowing that he had actually never made contact with her um, was also quite upsetting. Um, you know, she was also quite surprised to find out the kind of life he was living mm. um, in Hyde Park, you know, living in a multi-million rand mansion, 
um, knowing very well that his family is quite uh, impoverished um, as well. I actually asked her, you know, if you could see him again, you know, what would you say? Mm. Um, and she, she actually said, you know, I would actually hug him. Um, you know, I know he's done terrible things, but um, as his parent, uh, I desperately want him to see, I want to see him again and I want him to get help. So, uh, you know, I think like any family member, you want to, you know, the best uh, for your child. Uh, but um, at this point, she does understand that, you know, he's done some terrible things and she was hoping that he would come out of prison um, a different person, you know, but subsequently that didn't happen. Mm. All right. Senior reporter Slinda Lomasigani in her power suit and she deserves to wear that power suit because she's been giving ENCA and you at home many exclusives around the story. Thank you very much.